feeling lost, feeling like a child, feeling like you don't know who you really are, feeling like you don't really have a sense of purpose in the world. These things are not your fault. I know you might be judging yourself quite harshly for it. I know the inner critic might be beating the shit out of you for it, but I just wanna tell you, you are not alone. Today, men are the most lost and confused than men have ever been in our entire human history. And the reasons for it, they just go way beyond you, man. Our young men are so desperate for a role model, you've got dickheads like Andrew Tate who fill the void. Okay, I'm not fully against the guy, but you've got to admit, He's hardly a Marcus Aurelius, is he? The world at large has told you, don't have a sword. Don't walk around with a sword. That's what they want you to do. The journey that you are on right now, the journey from boyhood to the mature masculine, this journey sounds glorious, but it's a genuine existential challenge. Right now, in this moment, you are currently fighting a battle between two opposing forces. On the one hand, we have what I call existential regression. Existential regression is the vortex of childishness. It's this pull towards, this unconscious pull towards the womb. It's being a slave to hedonistic pleasures. It's addiction. It's being a sheep who just follows what the herd does, no matter what. Existential regression in a man can be characterized by one word, avoidance. He avoids taking responsibility for his own life. He avoids accepting the consequences. He avoids making decisions. He avoids difficult questions. He avoids commitment. So that's existential regression, but what is existential heroism? Heroism is facing life. It's accepting the reality of mortality. Everything we love will eventually fade, but the heroic person, the heroic man accepts this. He doesn't see it as a reason to retreat from life back into the womb. He says yes to life in spite of everything. He makes decisions. He takes full responsibility for his choices and their consequences. He gets off the fucking sidelines and he joins the dance. A man living from that heroic energy, he might start a business, he might contribute to charity, he might get involved in the community, he might actually form a, a committed relationship to somebody. He might pursue creative endeavors with all of his potential. All this is possible because he isn't living dominated by fear anymore. His life is now characterized not by avoidance, but by courage. What I just described is the whole battle. It is the whole hero's journey of men today. And the stakes are real. I've got another couple of videos on my channel that talks about this Peter Pan syndrome man-child issue in more depth. But one thing I didn't emphasize in those videos is one thing that I just keep seeing come up in my with my coaching clients and in my men's groups, and that is a complete lack of encouragement, a complete lack of social support, disconnection, loneliness, and a complete lack of role models. Sometimes a man not only lacks that support structure, that encouraging support structure, not only does he sometimes not have anyone around at all, but sometimes the people in his life are not only not helping, they're actively bringing him down. They're actually contributing and feeding his man-child, Peter Pan syndrome, existential regressive tendency. And this keeps him stuck as a child. It's like a vortex that just pulls him in and the vortex is now being fed by the people in his life. So brother, I want to ask you a question. In your life, who is serving your highest potential and who is dragging you down? Make a list with two columns, write the names in the list, distance yourself from the people that drag you down or cut them out completely if you need to do that. And make more time for the people who serve your highest potential. So if you don't have anyone, then I challenge you to join my weekly men's group. It's a brotherhood of men helping each other be the best man they possibly can be every single week. I want you to consider a men's group as your secret weapon in your battle against psychological regression. And with it, you will win that battle, I assure you. So click the link in the description and find out more. It happens every single week and I look forward to seeing you on the calls. King, take care of yourself and I will see you next time.